What's up guys, it's Bone here, and today I thought I'm gonna just fucking get this video out because I have about 12 different renders on my hard drive right now, 12 different variations of this exact video. Now, if you don't know, um, before making this video, I actually just looked at this to see how many quote-unquote Keemstar Exposed videos there are. And there are roughly one page in the last 14 hours. A lot of them don't have any views, and a lot of them have a lot of views. So, some of them have, some of them don't. But, this thing with the Keemstar Exposed, people are trying to take advantage of it. They're trying to get all the revenue and all the fucking subs they can from this stupid shit. And I'm here to say why Keemstar is actually a lot better than fucking Leafy especially. So, as we all know, or if you don't know, Keemstar 8 years ago was a troll on YouTube, maybe longer, 9 years ago or something. And being a troll on YouTube, or being a troll in general, you say fucked up shit to get a reaction. He said a bunch of fucked up shit that is documented on YouTube. And really, that's being a troll. You say fucked up shit for a reaction, get the reaction, and upload it to YouTube. Now, Keemstar later on did some stuff where he made an MCN, or a multi-channel network. But in order to have a deposit so you could... So the channel, or the multi-channel network, would not get hit because, um, someone uploaded something offensive that affected the MCN. He charged $50 that his partner said that was completely legal, but YouTube said otherwise, and he got kicked off of YouTube. And now he's a contracted content creator for, um, the Drama Alert show. Keemstar's friend owns the show, and he is contracted in. Now... So, Keemstar, throughout his time in Drama Alert, has said a lot of fucked up shit. And he's exposed a lot of people for shit. And they say, oh, well, you're, we're friends, so why are you exposing me? Because the news doesn't play favorites. Like, if CNN reported on Obama about him raping a little girl, and Obama was like, talking to the fucking owner of CNN, saying, hey, I thought we were friends. Yes, but it's the fucking news. No, no, Obama did not rape a girl for anyone who takes me actually fucking literally. But this whole fucking thing behind Drama Alert and Leafy, Leafy's been on YouTube and growing a lot faster in one year. Yes, he has three million subs now. I'm gonna send hate his way, probably, and probably hate's gonna come my way. I don't really give a shit. Keemstar's been on YouTube for eight years and probably done less damage to the community and torn less people apart and channels apart through his time. What Leafy does, saying he promotes channels. Well, he doesn't link them in the description. Um, I've checked this out on a couple of his recent videos. Doesn't link that. He, until recently, um, did not have a disclaimer saying he does not want hate to these channels. He quote-unquote roasts with satire content. Basically saying, oh, yeah, I'm just insulting them for fucking comedic purposes. That's completely fine, but you gotta tailor it towards your audience. Your audience sends a lot of fucking hate to these YouTubers. Um, let's bring up Mr. Black Darkness. Um, whole lot of shit happened with him. Then let's go back to Tommy NC 2010. He almost quit YouTube because Leafy's fans fucking told him to kill himself and being autistic and he actually is autistic he does not have the same ability to sometimes tell when people are being serious kys on the internet is kind of a joke at this point and that is fine but when you say it to someone who does not know that it's not meant literally generally that can lead to some other shit going down and that's exactly what happened tommy nc 2010 almost quit youtube because he fucking got so much hate from Leafy's fans. And Leafy lost a bunch of subs, but now he's gained over a million back. And more. So, Keemstar, he reports the news. He's done some debatable things, like getting Lizard Squad to hit G2A offline, yes. But G2A is honestly a scumbaggy site at this point, and they've been exposed by a lot of people. Just look that shit up. But... Keemstar, he's, like, the amount of hate he gets is fucking horrendous for the, what he does. He does news, people don't like it, don't watch his fucking content. I don't like Leafy's content, I don't watch it. I don't send hate his way normally. Normally meaning this is the isolated time where I've sent, I'm sending hate his way. 
So, Keemstar, you're fine on my books. The amount of hate you're getting is fucking horrendous. I still watch your content. You're the face of Drama Alert to me. And the sooner you come back to Drama Alert, the better, because I'm happy with you there. Your intro is unique. It's fantastic. I joke about it with my friends, but honestly, you're better than fucking Leafy. Leafy's a scumbag. He does shit for views. And look, he's starting shit with Onision now. He takes down Keemstar and he's like, okay, well, what's the next big YouTuber I can go after for more fucking views and stuff like that? Oh, Onision, he, not, he made a roasting video on me. Well, a lot of the stuff he had was truthful. And Onision's response basically debunked everything you said or basically the first 16 minutes you said because he said, fuck it, your video's a waste of my time. And I agree, your video was a waste of time. So, Keemstar, fuck the haters. Fuck everyone who says, oh, you need to leave Drum Alert. Look at the sub count since Ty Blue has been hosting. No hate to towards Ty Blue. I subbed to him. Great guy, but he got into basically a big shitstorm of hate towards Keemstar, hate towards Drum Alert. So, Ty Blue, you're, you're a trooper for taking that job on, and hopefully something came out of it in your favor. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I will not be doing another one on this. Um, I'm sorry if you guys did not enjoy this. Um, CSGO giveaway in the near future, week or so. I know I put it off a week because I left District Alliance. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please drop a like and subscribe if you've not already. I'll be doing more CSGO and Overwatch content in the near future, day next day or so. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Happy gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.